Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in to 12 News at Noon. I'm Tracy Kennick. We start our coverage today with a high profile trial of a man accused of killing a Beaumont police officer. Day two begins today. The intoxication manslaughter trial of Louise Torres. He's accused of driving drunk and killing Beaumont police officer Sheena Yarborough Powell nearly two years ago. People packed the Jefferson County Courthouse and Torres family and friends showed up by the dozens on the other side. The men and women in blue came to support their fallen sister. Well, yesterday the jury heard from multiple witnesses, including Officer Gabriel Fells, who was driving the police unit and survived the crash that night. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert sat through the emotional trial this morning and is live right now at the courthouse. Yeah, hey Tracy, good afternoon. Testimony got underway here for day two at the Jefferson County Courthouse. It started this morning. Prosecutors right away calling more officers who responded to that scene that day. And the first witness that was called to the stand was Officer Bradley Martin. Martin explained that he and Officer Gabriel Fells, who was driving the unit involved in that crash, were usually partners but decided to switch at the start of their shift. That left him with Officer Tassin and Fells with Officer Yarbrough Powell. He testified that he and Officer Tastin were the first officers to arrive at the scene on the night of the crash. Officer Martin tried prying open the door of the crash police unit, but couldn't get into the car. He testified that he saw Yarbrough Powell pinned between the dash of the car and the cruiser's passenger side door. Martin was then cross-examined by the defense, saying that the officers found a stray cat when they were at the jail before the crash happened that night. Yarbrough Powell intended to bring that cat home and keep it, the cat was in the police unit at the time of the crash, and when Officer Martin and Tassin were responding to the crash, Tassin is heard in the body cam footage saying he hopes that the cat, that, that cat didn't cause the wreck. While all of this was playing out in court, the family of Officer Fells and Yarbrough Powell were simply distraught. They had their heads down. They couldn't bear to watch the video, and they could be heard sobbing. As this trial continues, more officers who responded at the scene that day are testifying. We've heard from multiple today. As you mentioned, heard from Gabriel Fells, who was in that unit. He testified yesterday. Uh, we are in a break right now. The, the trial is in, a, is in a break. It will reconvene here shortly. And of course, we'll have more updates throughout the evening. For now, live at the Jefferson County Courthouse, Cameron Seibert for 12 News. All right, nice job out there. Thank you, Cameron. We'll make sure you are following along with 12newsnow.com and on your 12 News Now app. We will keep you updated about any major developments in the Torres trial. Turning things now to our storm tracker 